Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at the Leicestershire village of Mount Sorrel today, and we've come to visit the Mount Sorrel and Rofley Community Heritage Centre. It's um, quite an exciting place. It's a bit of everything, really. A bit of railway history, a bit of local history, and it's a heritage centre, and it's a pleasant country park. There's tea rooms, there's a little museum, so it's a very nice place to go and spend an afternoon, and um, I'm going to take you for a a little walk around the site so as we come along the road here you can see a bridge just there that bridge looking at its construction at first glance I'll say it probably goes over a small river but it doesn't I'm going to show you what it goes over those of you who watch my videos regularly probably guess of course it's a railway line but it really doesn't look like a railway bridge I don't think um, because it's not made out of engineering bricks, it's made out of stone. This railway is the Mount Sorrel branch, which comes off the Great Central Railway. And if we look on this side, you can see Knuckley Hill Station, which we're gonna go and walk over to and have a look at. So the branch is about one mile, maybe a little bit more. It comes off the Great Central main line at Swiveland. There's the tea room and heritage centre. So we're gonna go in here and um, I'm gonna show you the site. So you can, on some days come here by train. I have come here by train in the past but the railway itself isn't actually running today so we won't be seeing any moving trains on the line today but we can still, the site is still open, it's open pretty much every weekend for people to come and have a look round. So the station down there is Knuckley Hill, Mount Sorrel is the next station onwards. Now there's um, a couple of different walks you can do. I'll take you around up there in a minute and um, I'll show you down here first you come down here into what is like a former quarry and um, there's a railway museum now it is getting towards the end of the day and as you can see it's starting to rain so they may have already closed it but if they have I have already been inside and taken some pictures so we'll go over there anyway and if it is closed um, it's not the end of the world I'll post the pictures I'll insert them into the video for you to see so as we come down here signpost so many different things to see you can see a little narrow gauge track here so we follow this we'll see some narrow gauge rolling stock oh and this is cool look this is like this is a huge digger it would have once been part of a much bigger machine but that would have you know dug out the the ground the stone out the ground if you have a look that's what it would have once looked like so you're looking at just that of a huge machine it, it's huge look it's bigger than me and there's a tyre, and that's the small tyres, because the bigger ones will be even taller than I am. Now, here's the so narrow gauge tracks here, standard gauge tracks in the background where the railway museum is. There's some wagons here which could have been pushed by hand or pulled by a horse. We go up here, and um, this goes to, there's an engine shed with a loco, but unfortunately we can't actually see the loco because it's in the shed, which is um, a little bit disappointing, but you know, I'll have to come back one day when it's when it's actually out. Here's some standard gauge wagons. So the narrow gauge loco is in that shed there. So as I said, we can't see it. What would have been quite cool, I think, they could have put a window on the side so you could look in, and I could tick the loco off because I can't actually tick it off now because I haven't seen it. Go around the back here. In there's a small artifact museum. Very interesting to read. So if you ever come here, do have a look in there. See the narrow gauge track. It comes around there goes around the back and there's a, now a circle of narrow gauge track. Now I think what they've done, I don't know, if someone wants to comment and tell me, are they making it so they can do rides? Because that would be cool. The museum is in here, um, but unfortunately they have just locked it, but then it is, um, it's about half an hour before closing time. Personally, I think they should keep it open until closing time, but you know, they possibly have their reasons for closing it now. But I will post pictures of inside the museum for you to see. I think it's because it's raining and everyone's kind of left, so that's possibly why they've locked up. But anyway, so around over there, there's a narrow gauge track. I don't think you can see it, but it does a loop around there. So, and that wasn't, I'm sure that wasn't there when I did the branch the time I did it. So I'm wondering, is that going to be a, um, a passenger line to give people a little ride? 
um, like I've already said, do comment and tell me if you know better. Because um, if it is going to be for rides, I'd come back and have get the loco for haulage. So the standard gauge stock can come out of the museum, joining the branch there, and it goes just down the hill down to the Great Central Railway. And there's a junction that's living. Let's just go up and have a look at Knuckley Hill Railway Station. So this is one of the newest railway stations in preservation. Opened fairly recently by Prince Charles, I believe. That's the bridge we started on. It's very tight clearances, so you can't get um, certain locos and trains. You know, you won't you won't get certain trains up here. So I doubt very much we're ever going to see like a Black Five or an INF. It'll be the smaller industrial steam locos which can come up here. They do run the 101 DMUs. Do come up the branch. Um, and it's strictly no heads out the window as you pass through the bridge because the um, the clearing is very, very tight. So we're crossing the railway line now. There's the railway station. That way looks towards the Great Central Main Line. This here junction goes into the museum. We're just gonna walk up here now um, and have a quick look. Uh, there's a really cool nature trail here, which um, I think is a really nice addition. The Great Central Railway is just over there. Now this nature trail, it winds its way around um, and there's, you know, all sorts of uh, things to see. I don't want to show you all of it because I think you should come here and see some of it for yourself. But here, this bit I particularly like because it's a great vantage point on the railway. That's Knuckley Hill ground frame. I'm just going to carry on along here. So I've come down the path a little way, which runs, still running parallel to the railway line. There's a nice little viewing point up here, so if you ever come here when trains are running, down here would be um, an ideal place to come and watch the trains go by. Look at that, you've got a nice view. Imagine the DMU passing or steam train on the occasional days they run steam. Hopefully if you come here, the weather will be better because it's a really nice outdoor picnic area. wildlife area so you can see they've got various bird feeders there's an insect hotel all sorts I'm now going to take you up here it's nice out daffodils are out even if it's raining and um, it's quite an exciting path which winds its way around this little woodland so um, I'll show you a little bit just further up away the pylons dominating the background I like pylons though some people don't like them, but I do. Going up here, there's one of my um, favourite things. It's a willow arch. I always enjoy walking through a willow arch whenever I come somewhere like this. So you go around here, and it's like a tunnel through the willows. Might get slightly drier by going through here. So you go through here. As we approach the end, there's like a little area you can sort of, you know, just sit there and just relax outside. Very pleasant place. And then the path winds its way around there and eventually takes you up to there. So I'm going to run around and um, I'll show you a bit more when we get to where that bench is. So just come up the hill. Out there there's a little um, outdoor classroom for like when schools come here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, the rain kind of looks quite spectacular. It's like um, it's like a load of glitters coming down. It's really quite an unusual view. Now when you get to here, you get a good view over the rest of the site. So no mistaking where we are, Knuckley Hill Station. There's the railway museum. There is another path which goes right the way up to the top over there. I don't know if I'll do that today. Um, it's a bit similar to this though, a winding path around the woods. I think um, I need to get out the rain and get a cup of tea the way it keeps raining like this. But there's a couple more things I want to show you. So it's not quite the end of the video. So the footpath, we went right down there. We came along there. There's the willow arch. There's a rainbow. Is that going to pick out? Is the camera going to pick the rainbow out? Because if it is, that's quite... Um, a scene. 
Knuckley Hill Station with a rainbow. So it's not always bad when you come somewhere when it rains. It does, you know, you get some quite nice visual effects. There's um, water there, so you can water a steam loco when they come here. So that's good. It, they, they are prepared to have steam trains coming up here, but it is only on occasions. But it does happen. So do have a look on Great Central Railway's website and you'll see and get another view of the Knuckley Hill Rainbow. So it is worth, um, I would recommend coming here when you can come by train. But um, for me today, I was in the area and I just thought it'd be nice to call in. And I um, can't promise you'll see a rainbow though if you come here. So yeah, it is, it's well worth a visit. That's where we've just been. That's a map of the winding path we've just taken around the woods. So we're gonna cross the railway again. I think it's fairly safe to say that there's not gonna be a train coming. And um, I want to take you to one more place where we get another view over the site. So make sure the gate is closed. We're now going to head this way. It's another bit of narrow gauge track. It kind of almost does a triangle. We've got track going to there, track going to there. And then like I said, it goes all the way around the back of the railway museum. And then there's that circuit of track, which I really am intrigued to know what's going to happen there. And um, whether there is going to be some kind of passenger rides place I'm going to take you to, I want to finish the videos up there where the, those picnic tables are because there you get quite a nice view of the site. So let's make our way up there. If I'm the only person left, I think all the sensible people are sitting in the, um, in the tea room having a cup of tea and I'm the one who's walking around in the rain but I don't mind. Rainbow's still there just through the trees. Got one more railway thing. I'll show you before we um, end the video. We are directly under the pylons at the moment, or under the wires, which the pylons support. So that's the heritage centre. So when you come by car, you park your car here and you go in in that way there. But when you come by train, obviously you arrive at Knuckley Hill Railway Station. So up here, there's another winding path around the woods which is um, also worth doing. You get some good views looking down on the railway. What I wanted to show you is the Knuckley Hill Garden Railway. It's um, G-scale railway. And um, you can see a few trains running. They have finished for today, but I did film a train earlier, so I shall um, put that into the video now. So there we go, got, at least we've got to see a train going. Technically in my books this is a model village because there is some buildings, it's not simply a garden railway. You've got obviously the track but you've got some houses, you've got a bridge over a little pond, you've also got this girder bridge here and you've got a church. What you can actually do, you can pay, I think it's £1.50 for your child to drive a train like their remote control train so that's quite fun so you've effectively got like a big loop here then there's a branch that goes off through the shed and does another loop here balloon loop and goes back kind of reminding me of some similar layouts that some of the miniature railways we have visited so um yeah very very pleasant place and it's actually stopped raining which is you know even better so what i want to do now is um take you to this viewpoint oh by the way there's a quite a cool looking crazy golf um so I've never seen a crazy golf quite like this one before. 
So I'm going to finish the video here where we get a really nice view over the whole site and show you where we've we've been. So down there is the railway museum, just there. The branch that way goes to the Great Central Main Line. There's Knuckley Hill Station. We had a walk around the woods over there, and the bridge which we came over is just out of shot over there. So from the um, Mount Sorrel and Rofley Community Heritage Centre. Thank you very much for watching. If you are in the area, you know, do call in and visit them. It's a very pleasant place. You can spend um, a nice afternoon here, um, or maybe if you're on the Great Central Railway, ride up the branch on the day it's running, come visit them. So um, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends, and um, goodbye.